part two of our video series in QLab. If you haven't seen part one already, I suggest you go back and check that out. That'll give you some of the basics. In this more advanced uh, tutorial, we'll be covering surfaces and how to have multiple surfaces up on your screens and a lot of the other advanced features of uh, video in QLab. Hope you enjoy. So I have lots of requests for how to hook up a second monitor in QLab and that's what we're going to cover in this episode. Uh, first thing you want to do is get a projector or a second monitor. In this tutorial we're going to use a Dell 1200 MP 2000 lumen projector uh, and you turn it on and then you put the little VGA cable or however you're going to connect it to your to your Mac um, typically you're going to be using a mini display port connector I'm using it through a VGA and when I plug that in to the side of the computer you're going to just get a blue flash which it has done now as you can see from the it's gone from white to black um, and if I move uh, my mouse over here you can see that it is in within that area of the uh, the projector which is just on the wall here next to my desk uh, a couple things first of all to kind of check alignment and see where that second surface or projector is if you just go to system preferences and you look in here under displays you can see the projector or the second surface under arrangement here um, and you can kind of tell where it is this is it right here um, in this area and you can see when I click on that it puts a red line around the uh, around the projector itself. So that's where that lives. You can move it to anywhere you want. You can move it around and that's just where it is relative to the surface your other monitor. So I'm just going to leave it where I normally have it there and quit system preferences. So now we want to kind of link up this surface in QLab. Uh, first of all let's just drop in a video queue. That's because that's what we're going to be putting to that second monitor. Uh, and we'll just give it some Quick settings here. I'll double click to put in a video file. And as always, I have to kind of assign, tell that it's going to loop infinite. And now here's where it gets interesting. Surface 1 is the main screen right here that I'm working on. That is the only surface I currently have set up. If you look under the drop down menu, there's nothing else there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck preserve aspect ratio so it fills up the screen. Now, if I was to run this video now, it'll just fill up the screen in front of me right here. Boom. All right. Hit escape to get out of that. So we really want to run it on the second monitor. So we have to teach QLab where that monitor is and how to deal with that. So we're going to create a new surface to project onto. We're going to create a second surface to have the projector project into that surface there. So to do that, the easiest way is click the little gear down here and it'll open up a surf the surface editing video editing window so we're going to just hit the plus sign here new empty surface and I know my projector is 800 by 600 so I double click in there put in 800 I can tab to the next field 600 tab again to make sure it takes it I'm going to name this thing Dell projector And again, you want to tab out of that field to make sure that it takes that information. Then I need to tell it which projector or other monitor to go with this surface that I've done. So you hit the plus sign here, and you'll notice that the Dell 1200 MP is visible right here. And that's the one I want. So I'm going to click on him. And now it puts in the blue overlay here, which is the surface. The quickest way to kind of check it, make sure it's working, you hit the grid button here and that will turn on the grid in the projector there and that helps you line it up and do all kinds of things to do a little alignment or in this case you can just do a little keystone correction you click on these little corner pins here and you can move them around just freely and you can see that, that will change the perspective of the surface there um, the greatest way to do that is you can always reset the control points here, get them back to the default, click on the corner you want to adjust, and just use the arrow keys to make that adjustment. I'm clicking the right arrow key now, which is just bring dialing in that upper left corner just a little bit. And then I'll click over here on the upper right corner, and I'm going to bring him over just a teeny bit as well. 
and down a little bit just to kind of tweak it in the way that I from where I'm standing where it looks cool and then just uncheck the guy uncheck the grid there and we'll close this window and hit done in the video preferences and now we're going to click on this video cue and we're going to change it from surface one to the Dell projector and so when we hit go here it's going to play it on the external monitor right there if you want to edit the surface some more after you've made it you can click on the video cue you want to do and you'll see the video surface that's assigned to that and clicking this funky button right here three dots will let you edit that surface quickly so if you want to make some more adjustments to it um, in this case let's go ahead and you know make a slight let's move the bottom in quite a bit just pull that manually in you can see it changing the geometry there and we'll do the same thing with this side and uh, a little bit crazy so I'm gonna just reset the control points get it back to what it was and then I'll just quickly bring back in these uh, the upper left corner and the upper right corner and get rid of the grid again <clears throat> and I do need to restart this queue when I brought up the grid it kind of froze it I don't, I don't think it's necessarily a glitch but you're not going to be adjusting this live during a show anyway uh, I'm going to give you a couple more comments about the options inside this surface editing window there's so much going on in here um, you can you can add m other screens as well to have two projectors on top of each other if you want double the brightness edge blending um, lets you have two surfaces that overlap slightly and then it'll blend those edges together which is great if you're trying to build a big surface that requires multiple projectors you'd be using a device like a triple head to go by Matrox uh, in that case you can google that and we'll be covering that in a later tutorial as well I'm going to disable edge blending here because we only have one projector and it's not going to affect that. The origin is the origin of the corner, so if you were to either click and drag on this, you can see it's changing the origin there. And uh, again, this is more for alignment purposes for special uses on stage. I'm going to go ahead and zero these back out again because we don't really need to deal with that. Uh, the warp type is how these corner pins are affected. Right now, the default is uh, perspective. You can also use linear and baser, and both of these change the way these sections react and uh, how you can dial these in for specific needs. Baser lets you do these funky weird curves and things as well by clicking on additional points on the matrix there. All right, well, hopefully that'll get you started in the amazing video surfaces. Cheers!